What is up everyone? Welcome back to Romancing Saga Minstrel Song Remastered. So in the last episode I put some Bernie on my equipment which boosts our magic defense. Uh, the, the extra magic defense that I got is going to help out for a particular boss battle uh, for this quest that I'm that we're going to be doing. Ailing Emperor. Now you can only do this between a bit rank 9 and 13. So if you reach 14, you'll automatically fail the quest. So you need to do it in a reasonable amount of time and not grind too much. Well, you shouldn't be grinding at all anyway, but... You know, just don't fight too many battles. Do we have to see the Emperor, or do we just go there? I think we can just go there, honestly. But it tells you where it's at, Twin Moon Temple. I don't think we can even explore a lot of these places. Like, I know how to do it, I just don't know if we need to do something extra first or not. Okay. Here's where you can recruit Gian if you want to recruit him again. Uh, well... If I don't know why I said again, but if you want to recruit Gian, you can get him there. Well, if there's nothing we can do here, then we'll just head to Mazewood. Okay, so it doesn't look like we can do anything here. So yeah, let's just go ahead and head to uh, Mazewood to the area we went to. A couple episodes ago. Oops, I didn't mean to go to our font there. Alright. So it's pretty straightforward to get to where we need to go. Let's go up and right usually a lot of the times. And then eventually we're going to have to go left. But mainly, I, I don't know why I say up and right. It's mainly up is the path that you need to go. Just follow the path that I'm taking and you'll get there. It is called Maze Wood for a reason. It's kind of a maze. If you're going through it for the first time, it could be a little bit annoying. This is where Cyril the Forest God lives. Cyril! Lord of the Wood! If you can hear my voice, please give me a sign! What do you seek, child of a lord? I stand here before you. Need the medallion of Eris to enter Twin Moon Temple. Please help me. Wait for nightfall. Okay, so you're going to be able to move here in a second. Do not go back. I'm actually going to save it just in case I accidentally do. Because I'm pretty sure you cannot get back here if you go back. But I might be wrong about that as well. But I wouldn't go. There's no reason to go back anyway. We want to go this way.
It's like a wolf. Well, I know who I know who it is, but you'll see here soon. This wolf must be a minion of Eris. A trial of the law, a great trial awaits inside Twin Moon Temple. Knowing this, do you still choose to go? Yes. Uh, of course. I am bound by honor. As Daniel Bryan would say, yes, yes, yes. Give me that medallion. Then take you this, my medallion. Remember, the gods watch over you always. I am most grateful. Eris Medallion, all right. And we also get jewels as well, 104. For your first playthrough, anyway, you get 104. Like I said, every time you beat the game, in your next playthrough, you'll get more. Their destinies are bound to the fate stones. Fate is decided by mortals, not God. As for us, all we can do is to watch over them. So, this particular quest, the Elling Emperor, um, on your first playthrough, it's like, um, like, don't, like, you don't have to do, like, a lot of the quests I missed on my first playthrough, and I still beat the game. Like I said in episode, I think, one or two, I wouldn't stress too much about the quest because uh, your first playthrough, you're more than likely going to miss them because of how easy it is to fail quest. Like, battling too many times, you'll just outright fail quest. And... Like I said, that's okay your first playthrough. This game has New Game Plus, so it's going to make it so much easier to do multiple play to do the next playthrough. Because then you'll be strong enough to take, like... Because I think you keep all your stats, right? Or you keep... I don't know what you keep exactly on New Game Plus, but you can keep a lot of stuff. And that's going to help out a lot. Anyway, I want to refill my smoke bombs before going to where we need to go. Make sure to get the Medallions of Vomit and Eris. We got both of them. You can get the Medallion of Vomit from, I think... I think we... North Estimir is where we got it, I think. Or maybe it's South Estimir. One, one of those two. Uh, we need to head to Wallen Isle. The jungle. Uh, I think there's like a map we can buy of the jungle, but I don't really need it, I don't think. There is some good treasure we can get in the jungle, by the way, but I'm probably just going to go to where the temple is at. To get deeper in the jungle, you go over here to the ship. And this person will take you deeper into the jungle. I'm heading deep into the jungle. Want to come? Into the jungle we go. I'm trying to remember what cave it is to get to where we need to go. I need to change. Actually, I need to change my proficiencies. What am I doing? Let me do that real quick. Let me exit here. So you shouldn't need like climb or jump or anything like that. Um, disarm traps. I'm going to take disarm traps, pick locks, just in case I need those. I don't know if I'll need them or not. I'm just going to take them just in case. Um, fine chest, yep. Uh, mm, 
Let's see here. Yeah, we'll get pick locks. It doesn't really matter what the last one is. I guess just ambush. I honestly don't think you need like pick locks and stuff though. I think I might just do lurk and move silently. Get, or disarm traps I'm going to get rid of because I don't really need that. I'll just save before I open a chest and if it's rigged then I'll just restart. Better to do it that way. So I think it's one of these two caves we've got to enter to get to where we need to go, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the caves are labeled A, B, C, and D. Um, and one of them leads to the temple. Alright, so we need to head through the rightmost cave here. Now... Yeah, I'm just going to avoid the enemies. I was thinking, like, if I wanted to... Fight some of them or not. Because we can still fight until we get... As long as we don't get past event rank 19. Or not 19, but... As long as we don't get to event rank 14, we'll be good. So battling is not the end of the world, honestly. And getting the extra stats up is going to help a lot. But we just got to make sure not to get too high, you know? Too high rank. Fighting weak enemies. Pathetic. Alright, let's go this way. Okay, now would be a good time to save your game because this is going to be one of the hardest uh, boss battles in the entire game if you're not prepared. We should be okay because I got my magic defense up quite a bit, but I'm still concerned about this fight. We might need to grind a little bit more. This looks like some kind of old temple. I'm going to do my best to beat this boss. We're going to go all out and hope to win. Like, in my opinion, it is one of the hardest bosses in the game. Great. And we got the map of the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. We got dangerous bosses. <laughs>
All right, it's boss time against one of the hardest bosses probably in the game, just about, uh, Scorn. So we want to defeat him as quickly as possible because he's got a ton of magic. Uh, I did boost my magic defense before this fight. So we do have quite a lot of magic defense, but it might not be enough. We'll see how it goes. This battle could be a hit and miss. I also gave... Wait, what? I didn't buy her healing water? That's annoying. I could have sworn I did. Well, that's very annoying that I didn't buy her healing water. Alright, well, we'll see how this goes then. Oh, good. We got combos going here. Combos are always good. Hopefully, we're gonna defeat this boss. You want to beat this boss as quickly as possible. Let's just say that. His magic gets pretty ridiculous. He'll start buffing his intellect, and he'll cast spells multiple times sometimes, and it could just be a nightmare. Albert's dead. Of course, he targeted Albert. Alright, we'll bring back Albert. I do want him to get EXP if possible. Well, not EXP, but uh... Could you not hit my dead character, please? Nice, good combo. I love the theme for this battle, too. One of my favorite themes. I've used this theme in my on my Yu-Gi-Oh channel. I think it's might actually finish him off, or he's got to be close to dying. He's he's got to be getting close. Shadow Bolt does a lot. Yeah, that's one of his more deadly spells. Got him. Nice. If you don't got a lot of magic defense or you're lower stats than what I was, you'll pretty much die. Or if you don't have a synergistic party like I do, you'll probably end up dying. You want to combo a lot against that boss. Which we were doing. So yeah, there you go. That was Scorn. It's unfortunate that I didn't have healing water on Monica, which I should have. But at least everybody else has a way to heal. Okay. And after the battle, we'll go ahead and save it. And we can enter... Twin Moon Temple, a very large area. It's going to take us a while to complete. Enter the medallions, and the temple will open, or will be teleported in, yeah. Now, it's a very unique area. Pretty straightforward. Uh, on every floor you'll have to fight a battle, and you have to find the real battle. Only one of these will lead to the next portion. This is not it. Okay, nope, this isn't it either. It's usually one of the ones that uh, are different than the other monsters, so... Like, we're seeing a lot of plants, right? So it's got to be one that's not a plant. That we're supposed to fight. Like this slime. It could be the slime here. Yep, this, it's it. Right here. 
And we'll have to fight these these crystal light things. These are going to be pretty disgusting to fight. This might actually be harder than the scorn fight. These things could be kind of deadly sometimes. Don't take these things lightly, whatever you do. Careful using um, Rolling Slash too, because it does use DP. In this area, I recommend just fighting every single enemy on the PS2 version. Don't even bother trying not to fight every enemy. Just fight every single enemy. So, basically you have to find the unique enemy on each floor, right? So in this case, it was a slime. Uh... It's going to be different on each floor. It would be a different type of monster. Could you not do that, please? Stop targeting Albert. Jeez. If Albert runs out of life points, it's game over, by the way. I wish they'd separate their attacks some, jeez. Getting kind of annoyed that they keep attacking the same character. Alright. And now what you need to do, once you find the correct monster, you need to go to a particular platform, and it'll take you deeper in this place. So one of these platforms will say action, and you just press X, and then you go. Now... You want to save it. I'm not sure which one I was supposed to take. I don't know if it was this one or the other one. But you want to make sure to go to every room in this area because you get a special type of equipment in this place. Okay, that leads to the next floor. We don't want to go there yet. We want to go back down. And go to the other... Ah... Uh, Get out of here, you stupid things. Go, 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 hurry. Get up there. I want to go in here first. This will lead to a room where we'll be able to fight an enemy. Okay. Take your best shot. Take your best shot. Give it all you got. Sucks that we're fighting these things, though. Oh, nice block there. Don't use it on Albert. Stop attacking Albert! Come on, this is BS. You gotta be kidding me, man. Of course they go after my main character. Of all characters to go after. Absolutely. Sion Storm, back when I played Nardo online, he's like, YouTube luck and all that crap. I'm getting unlucky. I keep getting attacked. They keep attacking my main character. Talk about YouTube luck. Yeah. I'm getting YouTube unlucky. I'm getting unlucky, if anything.
Look at this. They keep attacking Albert. This is ridiculous. I call BS. Wasted this attack, but whatever. Got plenty of DP. And I'm not going to need it for the boss battle, so we'll be good. And don't worry about um, fighting battles in this. You get the Beast Bangle. So you get the Beast set through this um, dungeon, right? And they boost your vitality. Uh, which in turn boosts your um, physical defense. Vitality helps physical defense and willpower affects your um, ma magical defense. Alright, but unfortunately I gotta end the video here. In the next episode we'll continue through the Twin Moon Temple and probably complete this place, honestly. I'll probably wanna I'll probably want to want to complete it in the next one. So thanks for watching. Later.